So now I'm going to show you the, the Novlin pen. And the Novlin pen comes in different colors as you can see. These two are called the Novlin pen 4 and how they're different is just by the color. The actual mechanics are exactly the same. They're different colors because sometimes people take different kinds of insulin and the insulins, one insulin will be used with one pen and one insulin can be used with the other pen. They can switch the insulins around, whichever they want to choose to go mm -hmm. whichever pen to go, whichever insulin to go in whichever pen they desire. Okay. Okay. These two pens are called okay. Novum Pen Juniors and they're called Junior Pens because the dose changes by half unit increments. Mm. Also, the maximum person can dial on this Junior Pen is a total of 35 units, mm. as opposed to this one here can dial up to a maximum of 60 units. Okay. So, I'll show you how to use the Junior Pen. The Junior Pen has a lid on it, and you just pull the lid off. Then these two pieces, they come apart by unscrewing. Okay. This is called a piston, and the piston, when you're starting to use a new tube of insulin in the pen, you have to retract the piston to its starting position. How to do that is you hold on to the orange ring and then you can either turn that orange ring or you can just hold on to the orange ring and turn the blue part. Oh, okay. And it's easy to know if you do the wrong way, what will happen is oh. it'll get longer. Mm -hmm. And so to retract it, you just go the opposite direction and you turn it all the way mm -hmm. until it's flat. Okay. So if you're ready to use a brand new tube of insulin, you take the insulin out. This particular insulin is called NPH insulin, and you can see it's a milky colored. Mm -hmm. When you're not using, it separates, mm -hmm. and it's clear on the top and cloudy on the bottom. So I'm going to show you how to mix it up. Okay. The green end of this insulin gets put into the cartridge holder, and then you screw the two pieces back together again. Okay. So, if I was going to use this tube of insulin, the first thing I'm going to do, this tube is also called a cartridge, so I can call this a cartridge or I'm going to call it a tube of insulin, but when I'm ready to use it, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it. And it's important to mix it completely, and how to mix it is to go up and down at least 10 times. Some people go up and down like this, some people go up and down like that. Mm -hmm. The whole idea is you want to mix this insulin completely. Okay. And how you can tell when you've mixed it all the way is when you've finished, you can look at the insulin and it looks kind of like skim milk. Okay. There's no clumps in there. It's all one color. Exactly. So the first step is you mix the insulin with NPH. The next step is you want to attach a needle to the end. Each needle comes with a piece of paper on it and you pull the piece of paper off and then you screw the needle over top all the way. Mm. Then each needle comes with two caps. There's an outside cap, which I hold onto the tip, pull that off. Then the inside cap, hold onto the tip, pull that off. Mm. Okay. On the opposite end of the pen, there's a dose indicator window, and this is set at zero, it lines up with this, that solid black line. Then on the orange end is the dial. So if I'm ready to dial a dose of insulin, and when I'm actually starting a brand new tube of insulin or a brand new cartridge of insulin, mm -hmm. I first want to do what's called priming. And priming is also called a safety check. When I'm ready to use this pen for the very first time, what I want to do is I want to prime the pen. To prime the pen, what I'd like to do is turn the dial to number four. To turn the dial, I'm going to hold onto the orange end, and I'm going to turn it one, two, Three. There's to number four. Oh. It's a junior pen, so every half unit. <laughs> it makes a click. So when I'm at number four, I point the needle up to the top, to the ceiling. Okay. I'm going to push this button on the end, and I want to see a drop of insulin come out. Okay. When I push it in all the way, this button, this dial, will now go back to zero. Okay. 
and this I should see some insulin come out. If I didn't see any insulin come out, I'm going to redo that step. Oh. Did you want to try that? Sure. So, it goes by half units, right? That's right, yeah. So that's at four. Actually, one more. There oh, we go. Okay, there we go. And then we get to push. Okay, so that means it's ready to be used? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So let's say you're ready to dial your dose of insulin, and you dial up to eight. Okay. And then one more there. Okay. Right. Okay. Now, let's say you think, oh no, it wasn't supposed to be eight, it was supposed to be six. You actually made a mistake and you dialed too much insulin. Mm -hmm. This pen, you can't dial back. Oh, okay. So, so to redo that dose, I'm going to show you how that happens. What you do is you hold one hand on the yellow side, mm -hmm. one hand on the blue side, and you pull apart. And you can see in the middle, okay. there's a, a silver area. Yeah. So there's actually a spring that holds these two pieces together. Okay. So I'm going to pull these two pieces apart, and at the same time when I've got these two pieces apart, I'm going to push this against the table. Okay. So I pull the two pieces apart, I keep it held apart, I'm pushing the button against the table. <coughs> now it, that dial's gone to zero, mm -hmm. and I let go. Okay. Some people can do this with one hand, <laughs> but I usually do it that way. If, if I make a mistake and I dial the wrong dose, whatever that dose might be, mm -hmm. I'm going to hold one hand on the yellow side, one hand on the blue side. I'm going to pull the two pieces apart. Simultaneously, I'm going to push the button against the table. Mm -hmm. The dose window will go to zero, and now I let go. Okay. Did you want to try that? Sure. I have too much. I pull it up. So you can see the silver press down on the table. There we go. Perfect. It's back to zero. Mm -hmm. So the key features with the Novelin Junior pen is you can change the dial and the dose by half unit increments. Each time when you make your change in dose, you can hear a click and you can also feel that click. Another difference, a key feature, is that if you dial the wrong dose of insulin, you can reset the dose by pulling the two pieces apart and pushing the button against the table and then letting go. The other feature is after each injection, it's important to detach the needle. If you leave a needle on, it can get plugged, or you can also get air entering into the pen, into the cartridge that you don't want to have in there. So detach the needle. Mm 